Tinker, you guys have started really fast the last two games, playing really well in the first half, and then teams had some success in the second half. What happened in those past two games, and are you guys still capable of winning 10-7 to 7 or 13-10 to 10 like you did last year if the offense continues to struggle? Um, I think what, what happens in the, uh, the second half is, um, you know, we're, we're just, just uh, a lot of it is just us, you know, not executing. A lot of it is uh, us just not paying attention to the details. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's late in the season. Guys are beat up. Guys are hurt. Guys are mentally tired. Uh, it's not an excuse, but um, it's something that we try to, um, you know, um, you know, fix and correct uh, these last two weeks. Um, and, you know, any game that's really a close game is when, um, you know, we give up big plays on defense. And, uh, you know, we could be holding up the entire game. And then, you know, it, like what happened in the Buffalo, they got the, the, uh, the long third down where I missed the tackle and they ran up the field for 20-plus yards. Um, so they got them in good field position. And, um, you know, when, when plays like that happen, um, you know, it puts the team in – good position. It gives them extra juice. It gives them extra, um, you know, they could do more of the playbook when they're giving up big plays. So, um, you know, it all starts with, with stopping those big plays that, that happen and, um, you know, not allowing them to happen. James, when we talked to Ben earlier, he was talking about physicality and how it frustrates him when the finger just gets pointed at the offensive line for not being physical enough. You're a pretty physical wide receiver. Juju's another one of those guys, but to you, what does being physical mean and how do you achieve the level of physicality that, you know, you guys are expected to play with, especially in the Steelers organization, which was built on, on physicality and toughness and grit? Um, not letting a guy across from you uh, out dominate you that would be my opinion on that. Um, like you say, we just got to start fast and, and just stay physical the entire game. That way we can set up that tone. When you, you say that you can only really assess your own play and, and how you've done this season, how do you feel like you've played the season? And has anything changed on the line or been different physicality-wise in the last two or three games versus how you guys were playing earlier this season? No, I mean, I, in terms of the change, I feel like the, the, the change in the approach is exactly the same because we have the same, same routine. You know, we show up to work. We have the same mindset. I think that mindset has been established by Marquise Pouncey. He's been well documented. You know, he's he's the type of person that uh, uh, always demands, you know, a, a level of pride, you know, in your game. And I think that helps everybody. It's always good to play with somebody that, that cares about pride. Um, and then, you know, when I assess my play, uh, I always dwell on the negative plays, and I never dwell on anything positive. Uh, you know, and, and the only thing that matters to me is the next snap. Uh, and so dwelling and bathing in this negativity uh, before every snap and having a mental breakdown is somehow how I've learned to play football. I know that a lot of tackles uh, do the same thing. I'm not going to call them out by name, but shout out to those mental sufferers out there. Uh, and it's just, it's just the way that you play. It's a, it's a position. It's, it, 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 um, it reminds me a little bit of, of jumping out of airplanes when I was in the Army. You know, there's, there's just very little upside. And, you know, the best thing that can happen when you jump out of an airplane is that you survive. And then everything else that can happen, uh, you know, is, is, is all negative. And so playing tackle is kind of the same way. You know, the best thing you can happen is that nothing happens. And then everything else after that is just a negative something, you know, of some sort.